Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video today to talk about the National Sports Collectors Convention postponing and what me and my team are going to do to help. So over the weekend on Saturday, the National Sports Collectors Convention announced that they were having to postpone their big event this summer. Uh, as many of you know, it was scheduled in Atlantic City from July 29th through August the 2nd. Now they announced that they are still going to attempt to do the national this year, but they are pushing it back till December. They are now gonna still try to do it in Atlantic City from December the 12th through December the 16th, but they're not gonna be able to confirm that until we get closer to the end of the year to see if it's safe to be able to travel and host events in Atlantic City then. Um, this news has haunted me all weekend. <laughs> Uh, you know, it, I heard it on Saturday, and it, it's personally very sad for me. Uh, but at the same time, I also, it wasn't a surprise. I, the National, honestly, they had no choice. Um, you know, the convention center in Atlantic City that the event's being done at is actually currently being used as a hospital for COVID patients. Um, and, you know, this thing's coming up in a couple of months. It probably would have been pretty unsafe to have, you know, people fly in from around the country, some people flying in from around the world, dealers coming from all parts of the country and getting everybody together in a convention center that's very, very packed together with people and with everybody handling cards. And it's a very, you know, it's a very kind of hands-on, close-knit event. And obviously just, you know, with where things are right now, it, it looks pretty impossible to be able to do this this summer. Hopefully it's possible to do it in December. Uh, I really, really hope it's possible to do it in December, but you know, we'll see. Um, when I heard this news, I, I, as I said, I got, I got really sad. There's, there's three things that really personally affected me about this. Um, first of all, I, was, I, felt, I felt sad for you, the viewers and the fans of this show uh, and me, because the National this year was really going to be a chance for us to get together and for us to interact and for you to interact with other people who, who watch this show. Um, I had been planning to do some big events at the National. I was gonna do some mixers, I was gonna do a party. Um, I, it was gonna be a lot of fun. It was all gonna be for folks who watch this show and support this show. And I was so looking forward to meeting so many of you out there. Um, and it's really disappointing that I won't have that opportunity this year, or at least maybe until December to get together with you and shake your hand. Um, and even beyond those people watching the show, I'm also just sad for the sports card community in general. You know, this is a, we have such momentum in the hobby and it's been such a good year this last year for the hobby that I was so looking forward to the national this year as being another record breaking year, just like nat last year's was. And, and just seeing the interest and the people coming from all over the world to buy sports cards. I was just, that energy, I was really, really excited for that energy. Uh, I went to the National last year and it was awesome. And I thought that this year's was gonna be even better and it would have been even better had, uh, had COVID not, not hit. Um, and then the third thing is I am really bummed out for the dealers and the breakers and the exhibitors, everybody who was going to, to be part of this because that's a big source of revenue for these dealers. A lot of dealers, this is their big event of the year. The National is when they sell a bunch of their stuff every year. Uh, you know, they invest a ton of money into this. And for them to now take the revenue hit of not having the National, that is a major economic impact in the sports card world. That is a major economic impact to dealers uh, and breakers and, and exhibitors and manufacturers of all types around the country. So I've been thinking about this all weekend. I met with my team on this this morning, and here's what we're going to do. I want to use the sports card investor platform to actually solve this, to help out the dealers and the greater sports card community that have been affected by this. And what we're going to do is we are going to create the virtual, the virtual sports card convention, the virtual sports card con 2020. It is going to be the same dates that the National was originally scheduled for, July 29th through August the 2nd. And we are going to do live on YouTube and Instagram the world's first and biggest virtual sports card convention. Now, we're still figuring out the details of what this means, right? This is early for us. But what I envision in my mind 
is a five day live stream going around the country to different dealers, bringing them in virtually to the live stream and having them show us the cards that would have been sold at the national, showing us the cards and selling them right there virtually in real time for people to, from, the, from your own couch at home, to be able to see on a stream all of this happening, all of the cards that you would have seen had you walked from dealer booth to dealer booth anyway. That's what I foresee. And by the way, this is gonna be 100% free. 100% free for you to attend and 100% free for the dealers to come onto the stream and to sell their products on the stream. This is something that my team and I at Sports Card Investor want to do to help the card community that is being affected by the fact that there's not going to be a national this year. We wanna open up our community, we wanna open up our channels, and we wanna volunteer our time to put together the world's biggest virtual sports card convention and hopefully to be able to find a way to replace the revenue that the dealers and the breakers and the other exhibitors would have gotten from the national so they don't feel the business impact and also hopefully to build the sports card community and to bring all of you together for us to still do those meetups, but to do it in a virtual way. And for us to get together and have the opportunity to interact in a wider virtual platform that will bring together sports card collectors and investors from around the world. So that's what we're looking to do. Now, this is all very preliminary, uh, but we are gonna be working hard on this over the next month, getting all the details together. Again, 100% free. So here's what I ask you to do right now. If you are interested in attending for free, if you want the link to join this uh, virtual Sports Card Con 2020, go to my website, Sports Card Investor, right now, and we just added a link into the menu bar called the virtual. Go click on the virtual, and there's a simple form for you to sign up to get registered to attend the virtual for free. If you are a dealer and you would like to exhibit at the virtual for free, again, go to my website, sportscardinvestor.com and click on the virtual in the main menu bar. And there is a form, a separate form that is a dealer form that's gonna ask you uh, information about uh, what you would be selling, et cetera. Um, if you are a breaker or anybody else, someone who wanted to speak or uh, someone who would be interested in you know, exhibiting different types of things, whoever you are, there's another form on the website for you as well. All of this again is under sportscardinvestor.com. Click on the virtual. I'm really excited to see where we can take this. I remain completely bummed that we will not be able to get together in person at the national, at the national but I hope this is the next best thing. And I hope that uh, my team and I can create a virtual experience that lifts the hobby up, that lifts dealers up, that gets the revenue flowing to our dealers, that gets collectors and investors of all types excited that they can still participate in an event like this and still have the experience, but have it virtual. And I think we can pull it off and I think it's gonna be awesome. So go to sportscardinvestor.com right now, click on the virtual, register to be there, and you'll hear me talking a lot more about this over the next couple of months. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. And I'll see you back tomorrow with my next video.